Hi guys, so let me um, let me finish trying to tell you. Wanted to take some time to talk on my channel. Um, Michelle already had set this up for her live stream for tonight. So instead of basically beating her head against the wall and uh, being able to have camera set up, uh, I'm using her setup right now to cover the news that we sh I want to cover. I want to talk to you briefly about what's going on with the people of Las Vegas. I'm talking about the souls. Um, a lot of those people, both the living and those that didn't make it, are dealing with some serious emotional pain. Um, those that have passed on may not know they're dead. Um, I'm not trying to be funny when I say that. They actually may not know they're dead. They didn't expect to die. They didn't expect that they were going to be shot dead in cold blood. So, there's a lot of confusion in their lives, in their soul. Um, where am I? What is going on? Why am I here? Why is everything so strange? You know, things like that. They can't answer the questions because the questions are not easy to answer. Well, the truth of the matter is that there are things as light workers that we can do to help those people. Number one, the most important thing is we can do is we can pray for them um, so that to let the spirits on the other side, the guardian angels, the mother God, father God, to know that there are people on earth that are advocating for those souls that may be misled, um, confused and scared or whatever and to let them know that they can and ask them to come in and help them to um, come home but we can also help because we can on the earthly level if we see their spirit so we can tell the spirit says hey I hate to break it to you guys but you're dead <laughs> you don't have to stay here your time is over you can go home now of course, some of them may not think they're worthy, but that's okay because Mother and Father God love you anyway, and they will always <clears throat> find you worthy at all times. So, even if you think you're not good enough, trust me, you're good enough. Um, but also want to let people know that there's been a lot of negative energy going on in the world lately. And the Las Vegas, Nevada shooting is only a small portion of the negative energy that we have seen in the last year. And um, it's, it's really, really strong. I'm really, really amazed at how many people may not be noticing it, but many light workers are picking up on it, that something is seriously wrong with the system. Um, people can feel um, the malvent energies, the turmoil, it's just out there, it's so obvious um, that something is wrong and even the non-attuned um, can feel it. And those of us who are picking up the energies more prof profoundly definitely feel it. So let's talk about how, how we can cope with these negative energies. If we can find a way to turn negative into positive, that's great. And that's something we should be doing at all times. Which means that to do that means is to take a, a tragedy and turn it into something that's not a tragedy. Um, take, for example, Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, and of course, now Hurricane Nate, Hurricane Maria. All these storms, we've seen great, great damage to property and people's lives every day. 
What makes it amazing is when we see that people who don't even know these people come out and say, here, take my hand. Let me help you. Let me help you emotionally rebuild. Let me help you physically rebuild. It's something that a lot of people are not ready for. Because in this case, we're not saying is, we're going to go ahead and create um, this idea that everything is going to be changed in the weakling of an eye. We're not going to be able to make everything in a person's life perfect. But whenever you can change a small piece of it, a small bit for the better, that's fantastic. That's what you need to do. It's those little things that sometimes that can take a person's life and make it a heck of a lot better than it was. So if you see anybody, if you happen to be in those areas that have been affected, that's struggling, and you can do something, even if it's to say hello, you know, that still counts for something. But if you can help them sweep a little bit, pick up some garbage now and then, it can actually make their life a lot better. Next thing I want to talk about is we talk about negative energies, is let's talk about what was going on in Michelle's channel. Now, Michelle is a good person, and she's got a good soul, and she's smart. But when it comes to on-screen talent, she doesn't have that skill. She never said she did. And some of the people on her channel have been extremely, extremely ambivalent to the fact that Michelle is not able to act her way out of a paperback. Michelle never said she was an actress at all. Michelle is a technical person. She wants this, she wanted her channel to be so many things. An educational channel, a news channel, a personal launch point channel, you name it, that's what she's done. In many cases, she has done a fantastic job. Unfortunately, in some cases, she's done a terrible job. But the most important thing isn't so much if you're good or bad or whatever. That's not the point here. The point is, is that Michelle is doing the best she can with the resources she has in the printer room. A couple of people on the channel have been extremely, extremely downright hostile to Michelle. And that caused Michelle, which already had enough personal issues in her life outside of YouTube, to feel extremely vulnerable and extremely uncomfortable. I'm not going to talk about those stories outside of YouTube. Because they're very common to the same situations every other person in the world faces. I'm talking about those people that instead of saying to her, let me give you a hand, grab the equivalent of a two boy four and smash her across the face. In other words, I don't want to help you. I want to hurt you. I want to make you bleed. I want to see you in pain. That's sad. It's really sad. But you know what? Mother God and Father God, and of course I know that Michelle will overcome her limitations. And here's something that the people that have criticized her channel have not realized. The video revenue this month is more than twice what it would be 
prior to this. People are now watching the videos, despite all the dislikes. Not that Michelle wants to give me like dislikes from time to Michelle. I guess she wants to go to likes. But as one person said, it seems to me it's the dislikes that get your channel recognized. It's not so much the likes. But Michelle's not trying to deliberately destroy her channel just so she can get her dislikes. No. Michelle is trying to make her channel succeed. But it seems that no matter how much she tries, because she doesn't have the right skills, it doesn't look too polished and too refined. I must tell you, I'm personally sorry to see that. But no matter, Michelle will succeed. I've seen Michelle go through thick and thin in all of her 33 lives. She has suffered a lot, but has always come back swinging. Once she gets the right, finds the right avenue, she is going to seriously surprise the whole entire YouTube community. But right now, she's in survival mode. So she's not exactly trying to achieve the impossible. But don't give up on the show. I've seen this woman. I've seen what she can do. I can see all the things she does. I've seen everything that she says. Everything she does. After all, I live with her 24-7. Trust me, I know what she can do. She's a tough cookie. And she always will be. So, don't give up on Michelle thinking that her videos suck. Trust me. She's going to surprise everybody one day. And you will all find it enjoyable. Just pray for Michelle. Pray for her, you know, emotional recovery. Pray for her physical recovery. Now that her, her leg is doing better, she's walking more. But it's always threatening to come out there and kick her when she's down, her left leg. So keep praying for Michelle. Pray for good things. Let's see what happens in the future. Let's see how we can go from here. I want me and finish up, and that's what I wanted to tell you today. Thank you for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.